cool. Do you at all think you're going to play Spore Frog? <laughs> I mean, Proclamation or Rebirth is a card, right? Is it in this set? Not in this set, no. Yeah, yeah. I mean, okay, in, 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 yeah, that kind of deck, uh, Martyr Proc is like a. That's funny. Uh, you know, it's a real. It's a, it's a. It's a. It's a deck you can play. Yep. So. Yep. <laughs> you could maybe it is put a legal Spore deck. Frog. In, it's a legal deck you could play in Modern. You might want to put Spore Frog in your Martyr Proc deck. Um, but Spore Frog's just hanging out here for us. Yeah, I think I. So from having played this set. Uh, I've done uh, one draft because I thought we were going to do a draft on Friday and we didn't. Um, and Spore Frog is a card I would be really annoyed to see from like my side of the table. So I feel like it's a card I'd be okay including. Mm. You know, like not as like a hundred of them or whatever, but you know. It's just something. Like maybe right. just have a Spore Frog. Anyway, hello. Uh, I'm here. Numbitten's here. I'm Numbin. And uh, we are going to play Modern Horizons. Yeah, it's a, I might have, in my previous stream today, when I was shilling for this stream, I may have accidentally called it Modern uh, Masters, but it's, ba it's basically the same thing. <laughs> well, they, they think of it the same. My, my, my largest problem with this set is that it's costed as a Masters set. But... Yeah, it's because they, they know we'll pay, and we will demonstrate that. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm... Not going to pay the full. If I click on this button here, I could jump in a uh, a league draft for actual cards. But yeah, we we don't care about that. I, no, I, no, we don't care about the actual cards. I don't care about the actual cards. So we're going to show off this menu. <laughs> yeah, this new this new best of Unity 2011 uh, beveled edge rectangle menu so i'm i'm here for this here the modern horizon now one thing i will say about this bevel edged menu that you you're you're talking about here compare it in your mind to the previous uh yeah, ui yeah. where where's an event i don't know who knows yeah, you, you, maybe it's under nothing a, who the hell could a, say a sub menu within sub menus but now we've got just menus they just kind of look like like I, I like it because it functions. Because the last one, like, say you wanted to find um when we were doing those gauntlets. Oh yeah, like the they were like under the, they were under the worst possible that you had to go like under a menu and then you had to look under the wrong menu and it was like oh yeah just obviously. Yeah, but I think this is more of a sign that I think they gave one person like a weekend. Like hey, we need a new UI. Go bust one out for us. You got to get this done by next patch. Come on, yeah. chop chop. So we're doing a phantom draft. Uh, it's it's the same cost as a cube. Yeah. So, so I don't feel bad about doing them. Should be as fun as a cube. Yeah. So Modern Horizons, for those not familiar with the set, is a is a set that comes out officially this week end. Um, it is a set that goes straight to modern. It's two hundred and fifty cards with about fifty of those being reprints of cards that aren't modern. That's mm -hmm. just a bunch of. It's a bunch of really neat cards. It's a bunch of kind of silly cards. It's It's got a lot going on, so. Yeah. All right. You will join the Modern Horizons Phantom Draft League with 100 play points. Okay. I mean, look at the join. Look at the font on the join. That is definitely some, like, we yeah. have three different fonts on this, and one of these is a default font. I just like I just like the command there. You will. You have three days to join. <laughs> you will join this league. And then we're back to this. This is good old fashioned. Yeah. Now we're on this. Yeah, this is the, the, the UI we're familiar with, which is yeah. the. I think this is third Moto. No, UI? this is. The, well, no, it was Moto 3.0. So the, when it became in a beta, that was like four. Yeah. So and this is the beta. This is the one that became after that. So yeah. So we're we're on several iterate. This is new though. This new box with the the gradient on the name bar. <laughs> I will. Whoever designed yeah. this, I feel you did your best. But yeah, now I, I'm excited. I'm excited this. to show you cards for people who aren't familiar with the set. You're gonna get to see some very cube level cards. 
I'm hoping to open a probably not good enough to play in the set white rare. Ritual yeah, ritual sinkhole. All right. Well, what we have what we have is um, each land in your hand has cycling red. Cycling do you not want to do you want to win top deck wars? <laughs> this is your card for that. Um, and it's there's also battle battle screech. screech. So this is a, okay. Got to point out reprints, reprint, 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 uh, reprint, and snow covered lands reprint. full art. Yeah, reprint. So that's actually not the snow colored land you want in this set. It's weird. So I'm gonna kind of quick go through all the cards so everybody can see them. But I think we're gonna be picking uh, battle screech as a powerful card. Yeah, battle unearth another reprint. Um, yeah, good card yeah Subasa, as you say, the, that rare actually plays better than it looks because red green actually cares about lands in the grave. Yes. yes plus, just being able to cycle away a, an a, a, extra lands is good. And the card Rec itself cycles. Yeah, so the card, this is a never dead card. Do we want to pick the never dead card? Is that better than, I mean, it's Battle Screech, though, right? Yeah, like, Battle Screech is just so busted. All right, etchings of the chosen. Uh, an edging of the chosen, which is a battlefield, choose a creature type, creatures of the chosen type, get plus one, plus one, sack a creature, target creature gains indestructible. I could see naming bird with that. Um, yep. Here's a red green card that cares about how many lands we have in our graveyard. Reprint friend. Yeah, spore frog. Uh, and then we have a lot, again, we have a lot of these, like, uh, reference cards. Yep. Was, this does the three things he was always Jute does. Oh shit. Okay, so this is the card, by the way, that's like the would have gone with our rare. Yeah. Whereas I don't really see a card to go with Battle Screech other than like maybe the Enduring Sliver or the Etchings, maybe. And then there's Cave of Temptation, which is an okay unknown shores because it just becomes two two counters. One one counters later. Hmm. I kinda hmm. There's also the Goblin Champ. I love Goblin Champ. He not... attacks once and then does the Exalted thing. I'm going to pick up the Goblin Champ. I feel the Goblin Champ. Ooh, okay, now we've got a real card in our... Yeah, we got Wing Shards. It is a reprint. Um, the Throat Seeker. With the, the Vampire was very... This, this is... Uh, <laughs> Joseph's not as exciting, but more reasonable Scarf. Yep. Uh, prohibit a, a reprint. We have, we have this, which is uh, hippie, but worse. Yeah, hippie, but worse, which is okay. Yep. I've, I played with it. It's it's fine. I like the gelatinous, I like the gluttonous, gelatinous slug a fair amount. Yeah, this is the, this is the oldest, like, fair storm card. Yeah, like wing shards. If you're usually casting it a Celestial Flare plus one on cost, but sometimes if you get two creatures, it's really, really good. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Aria uh, Flame! Uh, nah, 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 nah. Yeah, this is a, an interesting card. Designed to murder death shadows everywhere. Oh, I kind of want to pick this, because like, we already have Battle Screech Wing Shards. Like, can we somehow become a spell-liker deck? Hitsugu's uh, first right. Mm. Yeah, the other cards here are like some token generation, and then maybe something like the uh, cohorts. The thing, the thing the here is that house. the thing here is that uh, changelings are hyper powerful in this set because there's a lot of uh, slivers. There's a, well, there's there's not just slivers. There's a lot of weird uh, specific. Well, what about Donna Flame? Yeah, indeed. Thank you for the bits. I'm gonna pick the I'm gonna pick the Aria of Sorrow here and say oh, Arc Mage's Charm. Huh? Yeah, this is. Sort of like a cryptic, but not. Just a flexible card. I think this is a card that's going to see play in the format, though. Yeah, this is going to be like a, a blue eye control card. Um, yep. Um, let's see. Convoke. If you convoked this fully, it's a five four. That could be good with Battle Screech. Yeah, that could work with Battle Screech. Or we just played it as a 3-2. There's also, uh, we saw this earlier, I didn't point it out, but there's a Snow Crab, and Snow Crab's pretty good. Yeah, Snow Crab is a Hedron Crab, but for snow. Yep. Mills. All right, I'm going to pick up the Martyr's Soul, and ooh, hey, Alpine Guide. Uh, Alpine Guide here grabs a mountain, and then attacks each turn of Abel, and then 
leaves leaves a mountain. Mm. Uh, I like Orcish Hellraiser. Thing. Wait a minute. Hmm. Yeah, the ephemerate. I mean, that could flip our martyr's soul mm. into being on. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we also have Elf, uh, and Orcish Hellraiser is actually a really good aggressive card. Yeah, this is, that seems just like a good creature. Yeah. Uh, I could even see like the sliver, maybe. I'm 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 feeling going for dumb here, so like shelter is a card that fits in on the dumb plan. Yeah. Also it's I don't shelter. Mind being dumb. Uh, shelter is pretty good. Yep. Ah, thank you, Lucy, for the sub. The bones. Yeah, uh Ransack the Lab is one of my one of the ones I find the most interesting. This is a side it's a color yes, it's a color shifted card. Yeah, strategic planning. Uh mm -hmm. we also have <laughs> chiller pillar i love yeah, chiller, chiller pillar chiller pillar is not a super good card but it's a very cute card and that's better yep uh one of the the players at uh, uh one of my favorite big green guys is big green go with your story i'm sorry i no, just love chris one, one of one of uh my friends at the the shop when we were doing the the the, the draft uh whenever they monstrous their chiller pillar they started playing music from mothra Mm. Hmm. Do I want Martyr so Rock's veteran is not bad. This thing is, well, especially again with tokens. Yeah. This plus, the, or just like using its ability. Those kinds of guys are usually good. Hey, we we wield our rare. I kind of like wielding this rare, actually. I feel like our deck is one that kind of wants to find some key cards, and this yeah. could help with that. A Bogarden Dragonheart's a cool card. Uh. Yes, again with tokens, because it lets you sacrifice your... And also, guy. picking shelter here would not be bad. Uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and pick up... I don't know. The charm or the thornado. It's like bad removal. Yeah. I'll pick up thornado. Face of divinity, if you control... So this this even calls out Daybreak Cornet in the uh mm -hmm. Brightest Daybreak. Yep. It's not as exciting, but it's much more easy to stick on a creature. Chiller Pillar. Are you ever like the the Minotaur might be okay, well, but it, this we actually ever works. Use shenanigans? We might Ooh, use Oh yeah. TikTok actually works with uh ah, I'm gonna grab the cycling land. Yeah, the the lonely sandbar. Thornado. Alright. We were wrong. We got a snow covered mountain. Yeah, that might be playable. So, hmm, this card I'll land for a different effect, will you? Ugh, yeah, for bears. Would you like bears? It's bear for bear from the loam is what they should have called that card. I like I like bear bear assault. Uh, this card rules. I like that it's seismic assault, but it makes a bear. Uh, other cards that are cool in here. Answered prayers actually is pretty powerful. Um. Hmm. Reckless charge. Reckless charge. Reckless charge. Reckless, Reckless charge. charge. This is a reprint. This uh, was not in modern. Yeah, not in modern. I'm sad it's not the same art as it used to be because it's just like a Warcraft orc. Yeah. Um, what do I feel like here? Uh, answered prayers, maybe. Just be or... for a, for a flyer and just have a good flyer in the deck, or. Reckless Charge has super aggression? Maybe that's... Reckless Charge works with Aria of Flame, but I don't know how many spells you can get to make... Because Aria goes one, and then yeah. three, and then... Because mm -hmm. it, it does one damage, and then it does two damage, so for three... Yeah. It does. <sighs> you have to cast a lot of spells to overcome its first... Uh, Vesper Lark's cool, though. Vesper Lark's cool. Um, mm -hmm. There's more Goblin Champion, which is cool. Igneous okay. Elemental is one of those things that pays off uh, lands in the yard by being cheaper, and it's like an FTK. Mm -hmm. Squirrel Nest is a cool reprint. Yeah, this is a kind of a dumb card. Uh, I kind of like Goblin War Party, just because it's like an over. It's like a uh, yeah tokens card that it's never really quite dead. But Vesper Lark is just like a dust imp that does stuff. Yeah, we can evoke. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Bears. Wow. 
I'm committed to like whatever colors we are. We, is that good enough to do anything? Whenever a bear, oh, man, we if we had picked up the bear assault, we would. I just know. Win. If we had picked up the bear assault, we 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 we've, we've we've made foolish decisions. We didn't know that this would happen. No, we didn't. It's, what else is in here? So. There's the card I actually like in here is recruit the worthy as a as what you had talked about. Yes, yeah, as a sprout swarm. It's very good with Aria of Flame and uh, yep. Battle Screech. It's fine. We'll, we'll find more bears. The thing is, I plan on doing a couple of these drafts. Yeah, and this... we'll, we'll be able to do bear st stuff sooner rather than here's later. A, here's yeah, a, a, yeah, that's a, also some other reprints that are pretty cool. Yeah. So we, we have both Exclude and the other one. What's the other one called? Which one? Uh, I'm looking it up. We'll just look at the picks. Um, okay. That cohort seems okay. Yeah, I'll pick up some, like, again, we, we it's likely that we find things for changelings to do. So, shelter. Oh, boy. <laughs> yes. This is the <laughs> does do are you playing basics card? Yeah, this is Ghost Carter to check. Um, here's actually the card I I think is the coolest in here. This is a really really strong card. Yeah, this is a side print where this is an existing card with one word, mm. almost the exact same art, but with one word stapled to it. Yep. Which Nimble is my mongoose. favorite kind of reprint. A cool reprint. Yeah, this is a keep out, keep an eye out for Nimble Mongoose. That's a known card for for suckers. Lava Dart. Uh, Lava Dart. Oh, also, if you want to check out the the silly mechanics that exist in this, yeah, splice splice onto instant or sorcery. This is called Ever Dream as a reference to the card that spliced and didn't have a mana cost. Mm -hmm. Ever Mind. Mm -mm. Which is uh, not a reference to uh, Nirvana. Could be, I guess, but it could be. Now look, they finally did it. They have sh they have Sift Plus. Yeah, they couldn't make that a standard legal card. Yeah, too good. Had to be modern only. Too Straight good. To modern. Straight to modern. All right, here we go. <laughs> you fucking reprobates! I look like an octopus. I love. I love this for having Avison symbol front and fucking center. So that stick. It's also undeniably the pick, I yeah. think. Yeah. Uh, here's the most powerful card in the pack for modern. Yeah. Uh, this thing is dumb too, as hell. Overloading this card seems pretty good in limited. Yeah. In modern, it's never going to overload, but it is going to target a 1-1 uh, <laughs> like one, one with infect. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm out of cards. Um... What's the best green card then? Um, the the sliver. Unearth. Maybe I just pick up unearth. Yeah, maybe I pick up the snowland. Uh huh. Martyr soul, gilded light. Gilded Light is interesting. Don't sleep on Marasa Behemoth if we ever get cut, because that thing's huge. Yeah. Cyclops is fine, too. This thing's big. Cycles. Yeah. I'm going to pick up more Martyr Soul. I actually think we can get low enough to the ground. Segovian Angel, huh? Mm, like that fine, might, Or more Goblin Champ. Fly I don't hate that the Angel can tap for Battle Screech. Yeah, that, that's actually what I'm looking at, is not only that, but Martyr Soul. Yeah. And yeah, so you have to control a white creature for that to work. So this is a really funny uh, card here, the good old Segovian Angel. Uh, it's not a, it's not nearly as big as the Segovian Leviathan, but right, it can't be as big. right, nothing's as big as the Segovian Leviathan. Sure, this end's actually playable. Yeah, wall's pretty playable. That thing flies and can attack. Yeah, can attack. And I'm not playing Geomancer's Gambit in. Uh, Sift. Oh my God. Oh man, we got a, a we have an Eldrazi. Morphon the Boundless is an Eldrazi. Yep. Um, uh, not the pick though, in my mind. Yeah. What's how cheap can we get that Dargan? We do have a card that says all your lands have cycling. <laughs> yeah, and we do have a land that sacrifices. I don't yeah. know if that's quite enough though. 
else I don't think we're playing great sword no yeah more fun, uh, more more fun, the boundless moose here is specifically like the five color any tribe tribal commander yeah it's so weird that Morphon the Boundless is a changeling, but cares about a creature type. Yeah. Also, <laughs> this card draws a billion cards. Yep, this is... We could have had Morphon naming Bear. You're, you're not wrong. <laughs> Ice Fang Kawatal. Yeah, it's um, the, as close as I want Modern to get Baleful Strix. Yep. Uh, it's actually quite good. It is for, it's rather good. And if you in that deck, it is better than Paleful Strix. Because, yeah. Um, there's probably other wing shards, yeah. yeah. How do you like the Soul Strike technique? I mean, if I feel like playing Face of Divinity and going in on a... If I had some sort of Hexproof creature, maybe I'd go all in, but... Yeah, just like, yeah, get them. But yeah, I love that it's got a manifest. Like, again, we have a lot of references to all sorts of... Here's another Storm card. Yeah, Weather the Storm... Well, this one I, I like a lot for the uh, sort of joke about, like, ah, yes, dinosaurs and oil. Yep. That's, that's it. Did, uh, my Icar is one of my favorite fantasy words because it's just a really old word for blood. Hey, the Oriflame! In, uh, they had an article talking about a lot of cards in this set uh, yesterday. And the name they really wanted to get through for this was just Alpha Aura Flame. Alpha Aura Flame? Alpha. Oh, Alpha. As, oh. In, as in the Alpha misprint. Yeah, the Alpha in this card in Alpha was printed for two mana. Yeah. Yeah. Is that fine? Do I want more? An maybe I actually want Answered Prayers. Uh, maybe I want an Aura Flame. Fist of Flame? Fist of Flame. Do I have a fire? Do I have a Fist of Flame? I kind of want one of these. Yeah, we do not have one. Uh, well, also, there's a hideaway card in here. It's a very yeah, weird one. It's a good one. Yeah, pretty good card. It yeah, enters the battlefield tapped because of the text of hideaway. It's yes. so weird. The, re the reason it's good, uh, the reason that makes it actually a really powerful card is that it's like impulse on a creature, like, and that's just really... And you just have to get a piker to die? That's easy. Hey, here's a... Feel that generosity. This, this is a card, strong card. This card's strong. More than likely fair, because unlike artifacts, it's kind of hard to kill your own enchantments. Yeah, this is the fourth ice grab I've seen, by the way. I'm going to keep that in mind for future drafts. Yeah, this, how many... What's the... What's the number? What's the... <laughs> right. critical? What's the critical mass for ice, for ice crabs? Like... What was the critical mass mass for corrupted ground? Seven. Yeah, <laughs> like, that might be the answer for the. No, snow well, crab. the thing with the snow crab is that it's an O four. Yeah, so that's actually what makes it really. Ooh, uh, thank you for the sub, by the way. Ah, like bro. Mm. Get the generous gift. The, the elephant in the room. Hills like white elephants. I hate that short story. Is this what we want for our uh, Aria of Flame deck? <laughs> the ability to... Uh, the ability to always just cast an instant or sorcery. And, like, flip into wing shards and fail. Maybe I want Generous Gift. Maybe I do want just to be able to kill anything. It's even one of our own lands. Anything. Like a three, three. We'll wield the Throws of Chaos. It's fine. Yeah, nobody, nobody's going to pick, pick chaos. that card. Uh, Here's another reason you might want to be in uh, Snow in this format. Uh, fifth Crab. I, I really love Nether Spirit. This is just a card I like a lot. because. Um, so, as I mentioned when this was out spoiled, this is a reprint. I, I, a lot yeah, of people miss that. I, I, I've, I've done yeah. this. It's, there's a mono black pox deck in Legacy that plays Nether Spirit. Yeah. That, that's a really hateful deck. And as everybody knows, I really love hateful decks. <laughs> it's uh, a card my, for Martini Masks. My opponent uh, this weekend. So, again, if it's the only creature in your grave, it comes back. My opponent, my first round opponent, played turn two, Altar of Phyrexia, turn three, that. 
Yep. And I was like, oh, that's a that's a combo. Also, I want more lava darts. You are going to get milled forever. But yeah, uh, I like it a lot because Pox is like a deck you can play in modern, but it's so bad. Yep. But <laughs> what if it had a payoff at all? Shenanigans is probably a fine sideboard card. This is the card I sideboarded to beat the Altar of Dementia yeah, <laughs> combo. Because they, they just dredge it for you. Sooner or later I hit it, and uh, we're safe. It's very, it's very sad nobody will ever play that card just because it's a... Uh... Alright, I'm keeping this in mind for the second draft, by the way. Just yeah. so you're aware. Uh, is that better than the Icker? Well, yeah, the Icker comes into a creature. Yeah, it's just like a 3-3. Three, three. Another martyr. Oh, I actually kind of want to play with the Aura Flame. Ooh, we have a token creator. <laughs> yeah. I mean, is this, is this pack... Oh, was this the pack the one with the Cascade card, or is it next pack? I might think it's next. Damn it. No! I wanted to be dumb. Ah, well. Alright. Why are you playing the dragon? This is... You cast that for if you have to have a land in your graveyard for that to be remotely playable. Basically, it only works if we have tectonic reformation. Is that uh, good enough, though? Um, I guess we can also sacrifice the cave of temptation. We have cuts to make. I guess is the first thing to do. All right. Okay. Um. Excuse me. So we have eight cuts to make. Fountain of Icar might be one, because, like, we don't have a curve above it. Yeah, it was just for, like, uh, not stocking stones, but, like, that kind of thing. What was the one that was... Chimeric Idol. That's an old That's an old favorite. All right. Slyo, favorite card in Modern Horizons. Astral Drift. Yeah, that was the card I was hoping to open, because I don't know if that's playable in... This, uh, we have the card that makes it playable. Yeah, we have the card that makes it playable while your lands are cycling. Um, yeah. I love Astral Drift because I play, Astral Slide was one of the first constructed decks I ever built. Like, yeah. just ever. Um, yeah, get those things out of here. Vesper Lark picks up Segovian Angel and Goblin Champion, but that's still, like, probably fine. Yeah. But like this, and then we cut out some of the stuff down here. Like, I don't think we make good use of Ephemerate, other than there's a regular irregular cohort. And it, that's really it. It works on Martyr's Soul as well, because the so. the uh, rebuy will make this a... Uh... It does blank removal, right? Is it a sorcery? That's an instant. Yeah, so it does blank removal. Yeah, that's why I kind of want to include it. Um... Hmm. Maybe. Maybe the Aura Flame's actually bad for us. Yeah, maybe the Aura Flame's kind of bad. We have more creatures than it looks like, but right. some of them are hidden down here in spells. Do we need both shelters if we're also playing Ephemerate? No, probably not. Hell, Shelter might be better than Ephemerate. Yeah, Shelter is better than Ephemerate, but that we have the two interactions right. might be good enough to play it over one. You can always undo that decision later. How many cards can... We can draw a fair amount of cards in a turn for Fist of Flame. That was why I included it in the deck. I wanted one copy of it, because we do have the ability to Yoga Flame with Tectonic Reformation. Yeah, just have the one punch with our fly... If we can get a full, some flyers going. Which we have a couple of those in the deck. Uh, I'm going to point out a card called Aria of Flame and ask the question again. I'm including it because I want to have fun. Yeah, that's a fine answer. Like, we have four, three cards with flashback, one card with uh, retrace, and, like, a card with buyback, as well as a couple cards that just say draw a card on them. Actually, it, four uh, cards with flashback, so. It, what's the okay, player or planeswalker? Okay. Yeah, it is, sadly, it's not creature. And I didn't need target, because that would be pretty baller, just to be able to, like... I cast Recruit the Worthy. I'm thinking about cutting that Trustworthy Scout because it's a, it's a bear, no text. Yeah, we can, we can cut a bear, no text, and that'll be our last cut. All right. And, like, yeah, it looks like our curve's low enough for, like, having fewer lands, but I actually kind of like... 
Yeah, we, we don't mind late lands. All right, and I'm actually going to adjust this upward pretty heavily because I want enough red to be able to. Yeah, our wide our wide commitment's not so bad. It's like wing, wing shards, shards. Is like the big one. Yeah, uh, if if anybody is, so this is also I love this menu. If anyone's surprised to see us optimizing for fun rather than for anything. What are yes. you getting back with Vesper Lark? Uh, I am getting back the our one drops. That's about it. Honestly, I'm play, as, I I like it as a flyer. It's a dust imp with upside. That's all we need. <laughs> yeah. Um, Again, the, I I feel like this deck is weird. Um, let's roll. I with do it. agree. Do we want to play Cave of Temptation? Is just like. Sure. Why not? A little weird, but. All right. Let's roll. Maybe we can put some counters on Goblin Champion to allow it to tech through it not being able to exalt it. Yeah, or honestly, just... I, so I played with Goblin Champion over the weekend, and it ruled? Like, Exalted in red feels really powerful. Yeah, because often you have crappy little guys who get to attack like once or twice and then never get to attack anymore anyways. And what if that guy could just make your other guys that can't attack once better? Well, like, there was that 3-2 uh, Echo Orc. Yeah, man, I'd like to have one of them, but we didn't. Yeah. That's okay. Are there any life game prevention cards in the set? Uh, not in the set that I can remember. Maybe there is. Um, yeah, there's... But there, there's a number that some... exists in, in Modern. Yeah, there's ways to play your Aria of Flame without letting your opponent gain the life. There's a couple also... ways to stop the life gain, and then there's like like one or two ways to make it damage, which is... Yeah, uh, this... Make them take damage instead of the gaining the life. Sadly, you cannot play both this card and my favorite red card enchantments of the same mana costs in modern. They did not. They did not answer my letters. They did not reprint <laughs> uh, sulfuric vortex. That's probably fine, actually. <laughs> sulfuric vortex is an interesting card for winners. Yep. Or Price of Progress. I'd have loved that. Oh my god. Yeah. How, what's up, Shun? Alright, let's roll. So Shun's I think it's already pretty bad right now. Imagine if Phoenix Dex got to play Price of Progress against Jun. <laughs> um. Well. Away we go. Yeah, I would keep this on two lands, but. Okay, so they did announce that the that the London Mulligan was here to stay, but they haven't re-implemented it yet, it appears. Is that better than a mountain? It's better than a speculative mountain. Yeah. Snow covered. Oh, we're Oh no, they've got their own angel. Shit. I oh, know the angel uh the angel mirror. They send? Yep. They do. And I'm not blocking, because, uh... <laughs> yeah. If we draw one of our guys, maybe we'll... Oh, shit. I had a one-lander. <laughs> Alright, I, ch I changed my mind. It's like, yeah, let's attack. Would have been better if I drawn a mountain there, but apps. Yeah, because you could just like attack with the with, uh, the guy. Yep. Wait Three, two, go. Three, two, go. Our opponent missed the land drop. Go, 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 go. The beat down. The beat down. The beat down. <laughs> Shit. No. Now they can play a two mana two two. 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 Yeah, here comes a two mana two two. No text. Oh my god. <laughs> no, we're on thin ice, Mister. <laughs> That's one of the few cards that... There's like three snow cards that... Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> Where were you last turn, yeah. Shelter? Mm. Gateway Black. Interesting. Okay. So now we just have... Now we have buyback. Yeah, we have uh, like a weird version of mobilization. I'm fine with that. Shenanigans 
does not have a target right now, but our naturalized does, I guess. Uh, our land destruction thing does. Oh, yeah, our Geomancer's Gambit. Yeah. Also, our opponent is on three, three color. color. And look at all the snow covered there. Yeah, although um, they might be displaying that as a snow covered land. Like that could be snow covered, snow colored waste, you know? Yeah. A regular cohort really strong in the set because there's a lot of weird tribal interactions. There's like plus cats. There's there's a lot of slivers. There's a lot of bear likers. Just all sorts of odds and ends. So. <laughs> the, deck, the deck's playing a joke on us right now. We added extra mountains. Yeah, I went up to eight mountains. All right, but we get the wall out. The wall can attack. Mm -hmm. It can also block pretty well. Uh, this is game one, round one, Edric. Shit. Battle Screech. All right, and then okay. flashback, Battle Screech, huh? Yeah, we still have the Wall of Swords. Yeah, Wall of Swords does uh, the job here. <laughs> yes. Not actually, there is a card called Wall of Swords, which is almost the same card, it just has first strike and can't uh, attack. No, it's it's just this card without the text and down a mana. Flying. I Man, I could Defender have had first strike. Hey! Hey, hey! Finally! Goblin! Yeah, sure enough. Man, that card was an uncommon. Wall of Swords was not an uncommon. Alright, Soldier Token, get in there. Get him! There's one downside to this. If they block with Changeling. <laughs> So, yeah, we just make a 1-1 one, one end of turn. If they try to kill one of our guys, we can shelter it. Yeah, we are very much not the aggressor. Okay, uh, there's the green. Boy. Okay, they are just three color. Yeah. Maybe we do want the Geomancer's Gambit if they're not playing that many swamps. <laughs> well, I want it for the damn on thin ice. Yeah, that would also be cool. So they so reveal... Tusker is the original green. Okay, uh, they played it immediately. It's the original green divination. Speaking of original green <laughs> card draw. Yeah. Hey. <sighs> what was this? Convoke. Yeah, what has convoke? Mob does. Well, Destroy target flying. creature, huh? Mob's a good card that would be maybe a modern card if uh, Murderous Cut didn't already exist. Right. Pro so, black. Pro black. Alright, I'm gonna hold lands that are not mountain from this point. Yeah, just, just be able to cycle them with our cycling card. Yep. And we can't flashback, so... I mean, it tells us the storm count. <laughs> well, how much do we value this mountain? <laughs> oh god, well there's no point in attacking anymore. Yeah. This is we're we're getting like spicy here. This is the good old fashioned sprout swarm deck though. Yep. Yeah, we are playing an upgraded Flying Man. We've done it before. We'll do it again. There's uh, at least three reasons for it in this deck. What's what your favorite upgraded Flying... Okay, go ahead and list your reasons. I'm sorry. Uh, one, uh, this card right here. Martyr Soul. Yeah. Two, Martyr Soul. Uh, Vesper Lark. Three, Reckless Charge. Reckless Charge. Reckless Charge. On a bird, Reckless Charge. Reckless Charge. Suntail Hawk. Reckless Charge. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, um, <laughs> ew, that thing's nasty. Yikes. All right. Well, um, I mean, wall just kind of sits in front yeah. of it. But, uh, I think naturalize is probably good against this guy. If yeah. Gonna be, uh, playing both, uh, that thing and the on thin eyes. Reckless charge. <laughs> Reckless charge. So I'm playing the planes because top decking a land would give me double recruit. Mm -hmm. 
Also, yeah, so the really... Man. Because we are in an awkward spot. We're showing what the Sprout Swarm decks were actually like, which was that the games just can't do go anywhere, and eventually we'll have enough one ones. Like our, we can just throw one ones in front of the elk if they. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, their plan is to attack past our wall of thousand swords. Yeah, I guess that's what lava darts for, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Magic mm. Battlegrounds was very important. I need to catch the end. Bear? Of Mother Bear. So this makes two bears on its exile, by the way. It's uh, a good card. I really liked the ghoul collar's accomplice anyways, and that card's just like one mana for two. Yeah, one, two we're in we're still waiting. Uh-huh. Cast with buyback, because that's what we got in our hand. Uh-huh. You did all that, I make a 1-1. One, one. No, we didn't pick any... Uh, we do not have any overrun, sadly. We had we had an orcish or a flame in our it's in our sideboard, but even that wouldn't be very good here. Yeah. Well. All right. I can double recruit now. Hooray! We're fine. Yeah, we're fine. Like they can suicide in their birds. We kill them. They attack them. us for seven, then they attack for six, then they attack for. Oh, was that? <laughs> oh, they're gonna make rhinos. Four turns from now, I don't give a shit. That's an eternity. Do those have trample? They should. Yeah, they they're have trample. Rhinos. Yeah. Rhinos usually have trample. Yeah, they could probably kill oh us. Oh my god. Oh yeah, they, they're not gonna kill us then. Perfect. They could probably kill us if they just turned their team sideways a few times. Yeah. Like the birds would do enough damage, but... I'm just gonna make one once forever. Oh my god, there's only one planes left in the deck. There's only one planes left in the deck. Oh goodness. Um oh, Kiwi, thank you for the sub. Alright. Uh yeah, we're just gonna sit on this. I played the land because it lets me recruit twice and leave up Lava Dart. Mm -hmm. Also at this point the cycling for your lands does cost red, so um yeah, we only have one red source. You know, that's gonna I might just cycle that card if I draw it, not gonna lie. Yeah, that seems reasonable to me. Here they come! Okay, in come the birds. They leave one back for some reason. No, they don't. Okay. Yeah. We, we lava dart one of them. Mountain might be too important to sacrifice at this exact moment. We'll feel about it. Bye back. Sprout Swarm. Sprout, Sprout Swarm. Sprout Swarm. Okay. Ephemerate. It's anti removal. Yeah, it's anti removal unless they target our tokies. Sure, man. But why would they do that? Um, so. If we reckless charge the champion and attack with it, they block with probably changeling and mother bear, and then or just no, they just they just block with mother bear. Okay. Just mother bear, and then they flashback mother bear for two bears. Yeah, so we we're kind of log jammed. Yep. We'll draw our own battle screech, or we'll keep we'll draw. We have one more. Do I have one more planes left? Or do you one go nine eight? I went nine eight. No, we have a uh, we have. It's nine seven and the one. Yeah. Yeah, nine seven one. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield, put a pulse on pulse. Well, uh, I see. oh, sure. I'm glad it's this turn instead of twelve turns earlier. Oof. Yeah, the unic the unicorn. That would have lost us the game twelve years ago. Yeah. Wonder if they're cowards again. Okay. So we make two extra one ones. 
And we can lob a dart. I'm gonna yeah. do it. How do we block here? I kind of want to kill a bird. But I don't know if we can afford that. It's a lot of... Either It's either damage or four tokens to avoid that damage. I don't think we can afford four tokens. Yeah. Especially with the rhinos coming soon. Yeah, the rhinos. Also, are... they make two three threes. Yeah, they have a spell to cast, yeah. Because they have this to cast because they didn't activate their... Yeah. Their their oil pit. God, that might have been just worth throwing one under that bus. <laughs> uh. Sure. Our deck is really just having the fun with us right now. Yeah, we're having some jokes played on us. I'm having the sudden realization uh -huh. that we might want to board something in and board out a wing shard. One wing shard's still probably good, but... Wing shard with a lava dart's really strong. <laughs> oh. Goodbye so soon. Although, we can pull every land out of our deck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so our opponent has Plague Wind. Resolves. Okay. Choose nine. I've been here before. Uh. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> Finally. I got all my red sources, everybody. We got our red sources. We can... They just happen to be tapped. <laughs> Well, we learned. We learned. Our opponent has Plague Winds. And also, an inexplicable Black... They, know they, have, they have two... They have Crows and Tusker... Mob. Crows and Tusker and two Swamps for Mob. Yeah, it's probably fine. Because the rest probably of it's fine. colorless. Yeah. Uh-huh. Hey, what's up? And a block of bear. And block of bear. How much damage do we take? Oh, lethal. Yeah, lethal. Are, yeah. Mm. Here we go. Gator Galen. All right. Uh, do we want Nature's Chant? Do we want Geomancer's Gambit? Geomancer's Gambit is weird because it does kill their ice land that they put their onsen ice on. Yeah. It also pulls out Snow Covered Swamp, which could unlock Mob from their hand. Yeah. Maybe we just want Nature's Chant then. Yeah. Nature's Chant could be okay. I like it over maybe. I still, I think, I still think the amount of token generation and like crappy guys they have makes wing shards less good, but still are one of our only removal pieces. Yeah. Maybe bring Nature Chan in for one of those. Keep all wing yeah. shards. That seems fair to me. We have two pretty okay targets for the nature's chant. They once they have one, they probably have another. All right. That's what my that's what my brain tells me. It can't possibly be true, but it's what I feel. Would you like to play first? Yes. Generally, yes. Sure. This is, this is both colors, and we can lava dart their their Segovian angel. They're gonna play. Yep. One card's drawn this turn. That card does cycle if it's mm -hmm. desperate. 
Cycles then gets us damage with like Lark, so. Hey, Bear. It's Mama Bear. We can trade our mountain for that. <laughs> That's a joke. Ooh. I like our curve here. Cycle crop. Is that worth our mountain? If we draw a mountain, that might be worth our mountain. That's so that scary. Yeah. God, is that worth the mountain? Because it's like an anthem, right? If we just let it sit and play, that's pretty bad for us. Really wish I could get Rock's Veteran down, but like... Yeah, if the, the issue is if we let that live, their creatures are just going to outsize us for the rest of the game. If we don't kill it... That I mean, if we do kill it, then we're doing nothing else this turn. That's the part I hate. Yeah, we're just passing with Ephemerate and Nature's Chant up. Which is very low. Land Battle Screech, please. Yeah, we knew that was coming. But we that's why we left ourselves the opportunity. And they can't flash it back. They don't have three white creatures. Yep. And they're making one one instead of two twos. Or is yeah, it's yeah, it just says another creature, not non token, right? Well this because it made the bears three yeah. twos last time. I don't know if that's true, President Ark. Just because the one bad turn can snowball into <laughs> turns. Okay, then they just have like a large creature. Yeah, well, that's fine. We can block and make our own large creature. Right. We actually answer that pretty soundly. Okay. Hey, nature's chant. What hey. up? <laughs> a target, huh? A mountain. Mountain. Uh, yeah, I probably want a nature's chant that. Yeah. We'll play Rocks Veteran next turn. I think our plan this turn is to probably... We can attack with Vesper Lark, and then, like, Martyrs like, block and Ephemerate. The sad thing is we have to rebound, rebound the Ephemerate. So we'll have to, like, it'll untap something, maybe. Who knows? Well, the rebound ephemerate on Martyr's Soul is what we want, because that makes it, that's what makes it the 5-4. Yeah, but, uh... Because it won't become a 5-4 immediately. Yeah. I figure, do we block here and ephemerate? Yeah, that's my thought process. Do they have mob? We're a very weird Boros deck. I don't hate it. Wait. Why didn't that become a... No, because we have tap lands. Oh, And then right. the rebound. Yes. yes, and then the rebound. I'm... Yeah. My brain eternalized no tap lands as if you didn't tap lands to cast it, which would be true at this exact moment. <laughs> God damn. Speaking of didn't okay. tap lands to cast it. Yeah. And Eldamari's Call. This is a card I'm afraid of in modern. Tutors, huh? Yes. Did you know that there is a deck 
that makes infinite mana with green and white creatures. Crescent Tusker, they wanted to grab Divination. Yeah, they tutored for Divination. You know, I don't hate it. So then we untap. Rebound happens. Then we get the counters. All right, Goblin. We get a Rocks Veteran. Yeah. I have a feeling we're getting outclassed and outsassed. A little bit. I don't feel like we're out of it yet, but I, I agree with you. I feel like we're getting... Old. Our, our opponent feels like the white half of our deck, but way better. Yeah, and then they have... Well, it happens. What is their... I forget what... That's some... Is, that the, is their avatar the level up... Uh, Merfolk. Talrand. So Talrand Sky Summoner. I never recognized that guy. Just because Talrand. That's always. To use one of a uh, friend of the show, Ryan Overturb's terms, I've always considered Talrand to be Thrun playable. <laughs> Talrand's like Monastery's uh, uh, mentor, but like worse. Very bad. Shit! God, I forgot it exists. Doesn't matter if we're getting outclassed and outsassed card for card. Our opponent just had not even Wrath of God. This is Plague Wind. Yeah, this is Plague Wind. You're right. <laughs> Where it's like, hey, what's up? You lose this game of limited for six mana. Yeah, Plague Wind, everybody. All right, so I take 14 here. And then I get to crack back for. Oh, man, we get to crack back for three. Three. Oh, wait, more. <laughs> okay, first step. Cast Goblo Champ now. Uh-huh. Step two. Fist Yoga Fire. Yoga Fire. Step three. Step three. Apply the temptation. <laughs> yes, good, good. And now... Do your duty, Goblin Champion! Reckless Charge. Reckless Charge. <laughs> and you two with three cards, or I guess two cards, one is a land, can do five damage. This owns. I love, I love this. <laughs> if we're gonna get owned, why not get owned by- No! Bum 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 On thin ice. Oh no, the angel. Oh no. Oh, oh, oh god, Lava Dart's gone. Shit. No, no, no. I wanted my final my our final justice, our final revenge. Yeah. But now we're we're totally dead. We're toasted. Our opponent has a pretty cool deck. And ours decided to draw planes and mountains All right. weird uh round amounts. two. So uh I like that path. I think it's pretty neat. I don't know, I don't think, like, with how powerful Path to Exile actually is, like, that you actually play it in Modern. Because, like, you know, Declaration of Stone is a card that existed, but the fact that it can be Plague Wind is, uh... <laughs> Oof. The power of Plague Wind. Overload on... The Overload Cyclonic Rift is 7. Plus blue and six. That was weird. Hold on. Discord did something and it like crashed almost. Oh, weird. That was weird. Well, we won the die roll. I feel like we fought Shadow Jim, Jim before. Shadow Jim sounds familiar. All right, I've got removal. I've got wall. I've got buyback. It seems fine. I've got mountain. <laughs> what up? I'm a day late and a dollar short. That's just the Goblin Champion way. No! 
They defiled our goblin. Somebody was asking about strong flying men. Yeah, Fairy Seer is one of the better ones. Uh, our opponent is almost certainly playing ninjas, I think. Yeah, not that we can do a lot to stop that. Yeah. They didn't make Ninja of the Deep Hours in this set. Well, they so at sort least of that's them. not. They made Ninja of um. The Bob. Yeah, they made Ninja of not Bob Bob, but other but other Bob the... Ninja. Ninja, sorry, not not Bob, uh, 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 Finkel. Finkel, yeah, they made Finkel Ninja. Sorry, I'm thinking. Of... Alright, yeah, here it called... comes. Why doesn't the fairy have it? Here it comes! I mean, is it your, really. It. It. it... <laughs> they really did have Ninja of the Deep, Deep Hours. Hours. Yeah. Whenever a ninja deals combat damage. Draw a card. Thanks, Finkel. That thing is getting immediately yeah, reprobated. That's a 100% reprobation here. Yeah, so. Uh... Well. Shit. That's not gonna work. If they have other ninjas, it's not gonna work. Yeah. So we just won't let them have other ninjas. It's fine. They just won't. <laughs> Sadly, ninjas aren't spells, but you know. Hopefully they'll play a pre-combat spell. And then we'll be super good. Okay, I reprobated. So if they attack with that, I'm spending Recruit the Worthy. Yeah. No, they main phase their instant Main phase sift the Sift, huh? After playing a land. <laughs> um. What, what are they? Smoking Shroud. Whenever a ninja enters the battlefield, you can attach Smoking Shroud to it. That's a really good discard. <sighs> Opponent has... is the ninja deck. Yeah, they're the ninja okay. deck. They're just ninjas. Uh, this so is three ninjas. Going... High Noon and Mega they're... Mountain right now. Uh, where's Hulk Hogan at? <laughs> Hulk Hogan's coming for you, brother. Hey, I'm, the, I'm, the, I'm the Hulkster brother. <laughs> <laughs> Would you know about my ninjas at uh, a threat? Uh... At the mountain. If that engine needs yeah, I'm blocking the uh Yeah, we're blocking your we're blocking your uh your ninja brother. That's gonna let you uh... please don't make throat slayer though. Fallen Shinobi. Shinobi! Oh god, I think this is the one that steals two cards off my deck. Yeah. When Fallen Shinobi deals combat damage to a player, that player exiles top two cards of their library, you can play them for free. And they're going to smoke shroud it. So we're taking. Wait, they, they didn't. They didn't. Fallen Shinobi. Shinobi. What do we got? How bad is it? <laughs> sure, you got wing shards. Okay, but they got they got rocks veteran, which is that sucks. Going to that's going to tap our our wall of swords. Yeah. I think what we might have to end up doing is cast risk and recruit the worthy. Then cast wing shards. <laughs> There's their ninja. Yeah. Yeah. Poof. Ah. We're not. Okay. We need them to cast a spell pre combat. Uh huh. Then, then, then we, we need them for... to attack with all. Then we can make a 1 1 and then wing shards them to kill their, their board. Uh huh. Sure. I mean, I I believe. I mean, we have a we, we have, have a, a we have a game plan. Out. Immediate game immediate plan. to combat. Okay. Yeah, we still probably do it. And the one one can at least eat the fallen shinobi and keep them from. Uh... Counterspell. Counterspell. Yeah, they're going to uh, disallow or not disallow. What's it called? Well, 
We get two of their creatures off the board. They yeah, probably keep important. their unblockable flyer, right? Like, or do they keep Shinobi? They might. They're probably. I think they keep the. Sh okay, then. They no, they keep. keep that, they must they have. have, another they, have another, they have another ninja, and I can't block that. That's unblockable. And then they have throat slitter, or whatever it's called. All right, so declare your blockers. None. Does our opponent just have the Fallen best Shinobi possible two. ninjas? Fallen Shinobi oh too. Okay, our opponent just has the best possible ninjas for the ninja deck. Damn, they that's, have all the good ones. That's the double of the the rare, huh? All they have, right. They have the rare. They have the best uncommon. They have the best commons. All right, what are they stealing? Battle Screech. Uh, please cast that. Yeah, that'll put it in our graveyard. <laughs> yeah, that'll put that in our graveyard. I will 100% allow you to cast Battle Screech. The bad part is now Fallen Shinobi is now bigger than Ball of Swords. Yeah, I've noticed. Oh god, you still have more Changeling. Oh, no, that you bounce that one, right. So, th what do they have left? Four cards? F yep, Fairy Seer, we knew that. Well, we have removal that would be really good here. Like, Lava Dart's excellent. Yeah, Lava Dart's very good against their stupid 1-1s one that start the chain. Yeah, like, that that's the thing, is we actually have some pretty decent stuff for, for stopping the early stuff. It's just we have very little for stop stopping... Yeah, see? That kills both their 1-1s one one on the table. So that's great. Um, so I'm dead to Fallen Shinobi hitting me. Our only plan to avoid that happening is to block and then lava dart it twice. Yeah. I think we're I think I think we maybe don't want to show them we have lava dart and should maybe just concede. Um because our other option is to chump. We'll see where this goes. Maybe we see more ninjas. Yeah, you wanna we're fighting for science, I think. Yeah, they're attacking their one one changeling directly into our flyer. Well that changes our soldier. Unblockable. Oh it is. Extremely right. it was, unblockable. It wasn't just super bullshit. It was I thought it was just flying, but no, okay. Sweet. That's a lot of info actually. Yeah, so they have multiple uh, setups for their smoke venomous changeling another fairy seer our opponent's deck looks good and cool it does you know i just want to cast aria once yeah let's let's cast aria of sorrow now there's our other card okay so i feel like lava dart is enough to just stop our opponent cold right yeah lava dart seems like one of the better things we have um do we have anything else the wall seems pretty good too actually uh, the set is called modern horizons for a reason it is a ton of modern legal uh yeah, effects skip standard cards okay do we have anything good in our sideboard <laughs> because our thing we would be taking out would be like reckless charge yeah, I don't, I don't see much that I think benefits us because like they have a lot of unblockable creatures and that doesn't. Yeah, so, so reckless charge could be good there because if they're attacking, they're not blocking. Yeah. All right. Lava dart in the opener. Aria in the opener. Ooh. I like lava dart in the opener a lot. Ooh. That that should yeah. make this a lot easier for us. They play their flying men, and then we stab them with yeah. the lava. So let them scry first. Wait, did they use Ravnica Island for this set? I mean, no, snow those covered. are Origins. Yeah, they're snow covered is what's in the set, so... Yeah, okay, then... Why do they settle on Magic Origins for, uh... No clue. <laughs> The lands they it's like in it's like in MTGA every you always default to Ixalan lands. Even though I think they're kind of ugly personally. Wing shards with lava dart seems super strong. And it's mer that's like that's our own plague wind. Do we want to play a three mana enchantment that gains our opponent ten life? 
Yes. Here you go, bud. Each opponent gains 10. <laughs> Little did you know this would be your downfall. Unblock ninjas. They do have Throat Seeker. Yep. So we just play Rock's Veteran here and call it a blocker. I like it. It's like 3-4 meets. A 2-4 meets 3-2. It's a... It, yeah, if they, they have, as old as time. If they have Defile, I guess they get to one for one at us. They might bounce. Oh, they're just gonna smoke shroud at it. Oh, well, I can wing shard that next turn. Yeah, if, we can wing shard at some point, and then they will take one damage from our wing shard. They will. I like it. It's the beginning of our inexorable tide, which is a other less good enchantment. Oh, speaking of good enchantments. Um, if we play that, we also play planes. Yeah, I think that's fine. Yeah, five is probably where we want to top out, so it's fine to do that now. Our deck is just a bunch of red do nothing enchantments. It's beautiful. Yes. I wonder if they're going to clock us at some point with the ninja that's just big. There's a ninja whose ninja power is that it's like a 6-3 or a 6-2 or something. That would be mean. Yeah. I'm really happy about a pre-combat spell because that means that wing shards isn't counterable anymore. Yeah. Which is kind of necessary in my mind. Uh, two lands in the yard. Mm -hmm. We have to do this pre... Yeah, pre-blocks, or otherwise they could just ninja their guy. They would still have to sacrifice what they ninja'd, but... Um... Okay, I, to... I was getting very confused, because Throat Seeker is very close to Throat Slitter. And Throat Seeker is just like a pretty okay ninja card. Throat Slitter yep. is a nightmare card. Yep. Because uh, Throat Slitter is a Necrotal on combat damage. Oh god, that thing is flying. It's a 2-4 flying. Do you just want to pop that off just to draw a card and deal 2 damage to our opponent? Probably attack with the Rocks Veteran, tap their Venomous Changeling, and do it. Yeah. So. That seems fine. Yeah, because we can attack into that because of our our guy is, uh, what is that guy called? It's like a Grey Ogre that just has the second ability. Yeah, I'm going to cast this pre-combat. I thought it was Master at Arms, but there's only one card with the phrase Master of Arms in its in its uh in its text box, and it is Lu Bu, Master at Arms. I would love to be able to play Lu Bu in modern. <laughs> it's Lu Bu! Lu Bu He's here to destroy Lu us! Ah. <laughs> oh no, my thing with my soda fell over on it. It's come to destroy us! My my filthy cereal bowl that I had not yet returned to the kitchen that I had stuck by that I had stuck into <laughs> the soda can and fell off my desk because of Lou Boo. It's come to destroy you. All right. Now I have to do now I have to do the walk of shame where I take a old cereal bowl out of my room at some point. Again, another main phase rain. Cards an instant. Oh my god. <laughs> the tectonic reformation is going on on my side, even though yep. I live in one of the <laughs> geologically active areas in, this, in the country. Okay. Yes! <laughs> we can cycle if we want to. We can leave our planes behind. Yep. 
Okay. Opponents at... Hold on, opponents at 25. Are they dead right now? Okay, we attack for five. We attack, attack for, for six. six. So they go to 19, and then we do 16, 16 15. So, uh, hold on. So we attack for... We attack for six. Yeah, we might be some short. So we go to they go to nineteen. I think 20, they're dead. I think they're dead. Twenty-two. Plus the Lavinard damage. Yeah. So like, it's okay. So plus the six, three from Lavinard. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. I'm only counting eighteen here. So we're one short. Because it's three, four, five, six, right? Yeah. Plus all of our damage. So three, seven, twelve, eighteen. Wait, wait, wait. We can just cast wing shards. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> we don't even have to. They don't have to have an attacking creature. You can target with wing shards, even though <laughs> they're done. No, you don't even. You can just wing shards whenever. Yeah, no, I know they're dead right now. I'm killing them. Yeah, I was explaining in the chat. Uh, wing shards, you can you can elect to cast wing shards even if they have no uh, even outside. It does not say must. Oh, tech, 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 yeah, I'm I'm I'm, I'm jitter drawing. This is rules. Same targets, same targets, same targets. Storm wins, baby! Yes, do we have a storm counter. Storm counter four, wing shards for storm. We did cast wing shards to increase our storm. Yeah, you, you, Lavadar deals damage. That's the that's the missing piece of that. Yeah. Anyway, that's the Lavadar. deck. I got to do the deck. Yes. Uh, okay, how many counters did we end up on our Aria flame? Six. Okay, so now we. Okay, if they were playing a white or a green deck, I would want to board Arya out because a very nat mean thing to do is to, uh, after your opponent plays and taps out for Arya Flame, just to naturalize it, be like, hey, thanks for the 10 life. Thanks, buddy. It's free real estate. Uh, I think we just ship it back. Yeah, whatever. We need Lava Darts to win. If we don't have darts, we're going to lose. Uh, yeah, we proved that if you just kill your opponent's holy shit. ball creatures. Yeah, we drew seven cards this turn. Holy shit, drawn seven that's not, cards this turn. I don't think that's true, because <laughs> you draw your opening hand before your turn. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna... I don't think this is keepable. Yeah, it's too many lands for me. Well, this one has a mulligan in it. Uh... Let's see what this guy says. That's a card that's really good against our opponent. 13, yeah. 13 cards drawn this turn, zero cards drawn this card. Yeah, wow, yeah. so is that the win con with Fist of Flames? Is it the turn zero? Yeah, it's the turn zero. You just have to get a creature into play and attack before your turn starts. <laughs> and two mana. Before your turn starts. Okay, they kept a hand without a turn one enabler, which is really good for us. Again, the wing shards is actually really good against them because they're generally like, uh, yep, ransack on two. This is good. Having yeah. time here is really good. And two I'll lands. I'll be back in there. a minute. All right. That cereal bowl sitting beside my desk on the floor is taunting me, so I have to go be away with it. <laughs> yeah, so you have to turn zero it. Sadly, it doesn't work the way you want. Unblock ninjas. You control life lifelink. Yep. I don't want to just cycle the reformation now that I'm thinking about it, but hmm. Thank you, uh, Burnhead, for the clip on that. Okay, I've I've out damage spotted my bowl of shame. So oh, no, here comes fallen. Ninja. Yeah, here comes fallen ninja, and now we're just getting our ass kicked by fallen shinobi. 
Yeah. No! This is... Oh, no. Although, if they cast those, do they become exiled or do they go to the they yard? Go, they go to the yard, but they're just going to pass. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're just yeah, going to... Just going, just going to... Okay, they just clocked us for whatever. Damn, and I can't... Like... We can't safely reprobate. It's... I could, assuming their hand is nothing, but, like... Assuming they have no other ninjas. Man, reprobate worse than pacifism here. Yeah. That We should have boarded that out just for... I don't care anything. Yeah, it's like a, 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 a grizzly bear. Okay, do they find Finkel? Two lands in the yard. Phantasmal Ninja. Fa sorry, Phantom Ninja. Yes, it's, it's Phantasmal Warrior, I think is what it's called. Oh my god! Wing Shards is here, but Wing Shards is off because our, our mana is... is... No, it is Phantom Bear, or Phantom Warrior. Yeah, Phantom, Phantom Warrior. This what, is just a... What? There's Phantasmal Bear. Bear, that's all 2-2 two, two for... Uh, yeah, a card they used to put in cube for some reason. Yep. Oh my god, look at this, like, slam... Oh, they're gonna mob my... They're mobbing us? Which I don't, okay. have, I don't have the Ephemerate up, which is what I wanted there. Okay, they're on one card in hand, so if I can, you know... Get something going, maybe this is real. Can we cycle that? Hope we cast our Vesper Lark because it can block a yeah. creature. It can block the uh, Throat Seeker, which prevents their lifelink for a little while. It is funny that they made Phantom Warrior into a ninja just so that you'd know that uh, that's what that card's for in this format. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, it, it mechanically matters right here. Yeah. I wish that they had left it, let it be a warrior, so that it was the ninja warrior. Ah, the golden ninja warrior. Ah, the ultimate ninja warrior. Ninja power, the ultimate, no, it's the ninja power. The golden ninja power. So I'm leaving Vesperlock back as a blocker for Fallen Shinobi, or Throat Seeker if it ever comes in. Ransack, they have a lot of these ransacks. This is good for us, they're adding to the storm count. That's really good, yeah. Maybe they'll play something pre, uh... Maybe they'll play something they're, else free. Yeah, because they're not going to want to risk their throat, si uh, throat seeker. So yeah, now we can just kill their guys. This rules. This is very good for us. I just independently started thinking of the uh, Phoenix Wright cornered theme. <laughs> <laughs> is that what's happening in the game? This, this is it right now. I want to cross-examine the owl. <laughs> they had it. They had it. They could, they're probably going to attack with that. We want to drop planes here. Yeah, we want to drop planes. Oh, we, yeah. Yeah, because I'll be able to ephemerate if we draw planes. Uh -huh. Right. Okay, cool. Bam, 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 bam. Thing is, there's been like a bunch of Ace Attorney games by now. None of the other cornered themes have even come close to being as good as the first one. So first things first. We got a. Uh, we're just casting two C flares here because uh, Fim Rate's not getting us any value. So we we are just casting two celestial flares. <laughs> so I have to leave Vesper Lark back to block. Cuz I cannot allow Fallen Shinobi to ever we should be out of top decks, but well, yeah, but we can't even attack this turn because it's going to be summoning sick. Yeah, well, I don't want to attack this turn. Well, Charge. if I ever want to attack, I I can, and I have shelter to keep it alive. So, yeah, we should be good. We also have good top decks. Uh, all lands are cycling, so yeah. So we should we're going to be showing the power of the tectonic doobie. Do you want to reckless charge the rocks veteran? No, because I want to leave up shelter. 
However, I do want to attack with just Vesper Lark here. Yes. I want to leave up, like, I want to hide uh, uh, the shelter, right? I want to be able to have that as, like, a if they draw mob and then go in and something ridiculous happens, you know. We really are. Wait, do they only do that? Do they not entwine that? They did. It's both nodes. Ah, uh, okay. It just the entwine text doesn't show up when. And we want to be pro stack. blue. That's a fun card, by the way. Man, if only we had that dragon in our deck now. <laughs> That's nice. Um, we could cycle that other planes, or we could just reckless charge for six. I think I'm gonna hold back again. Again, I'm 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 just trying to. Yeah, we can eke out our advantage over time, and then use the charge damage to just sort of get the game out. Well, actually, no. I'm okay attacking for two again. Is do I have a thing in the yard yet? For no, I do not. Because I can generous gift, like if they go for a kill spell on rocks, I can make yeah. a 3-3. Three, three. You can just turn it into a 3-3. Three, three. Do they have... No, they don't. One card in hand. Perfect. Nice. That is the actual card I want to draw right now. And then let's battle Screech again. Sadly, we don't have uh, our Arya in play for our battle Screech to do some damage. Reckless Charge. <laughs> yeah, I knew you would Reckless Charge a Suntail Hawk. <laughs> Caw. I have half the legs of a Suntail Hawk. You know, I always used to think that Suntail Hawk had three legs. Mm. Because on its art, you can only really see one of the front legs very well. It just kind of looks like it has two back legs. We beat yes. the ninjas! We beat, we beat, you, we, we beat you, Hulk Hogan! With, with casting wing shards for dumb about we we turned about yeah we yeah. turned we turned about that game a real not only did we we had two turnabout games we had our, our <laughs> yeah both times we were like losing and then the time came where we were suddenly winning i think the 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 the, the trials and the third games like pursuit theme is pretty good but again like nothing matches cornered yeah, cornered is just so good. God, that was a oh, tough cool. match. That they had the the double fallen shinobi. They stole both my lava darts. <laughs> they had like the best commons for that deck too, and the best rares. I like their ransacks. Those were working pretty overtime for them. Yeah, they had reasons to have them, and just like cycling in black or like card selection in black that doesn't cost you a bunch of life. Yeah. This is lands and spells, but is it? I can cycle Fist of Flame. Seems good. Reckless Charge. Oh Crap. shit, oh shit. <laughs> I mean, that lets me cycle the Fist of Flame. Retrace and Rebound are of similar power. Having that card have Retrace would be weird. All right, mill it's fine, they're just, they're just going to mill our Lava Darts. Yep, it's fine. We're ready. Are you ready for Crab? <laughs> yep. Did they do the... Th thing that we thought they would do 
which was, are they just going to play seven of these these bastards? Oh, no, they're doing it again. Uh, here comes Astrolabe. Again, th the snow thing is actually really pretty simple to get rolling. Astrolabe, it costs snow mana. You can see in the top right. Yeah, but it's a new mechanic. Yep. As far as spell costs go, it's, it's you know, we've, we've not seen that sort of thing, so... Yeah, we've never really seen that kind of, like, mana symbol on a spell cost. Mountain we've Rocks. We've activations in. before. Yeah. Like, Rhyme Scale Dragon. Scrying Sheets, I think. Hey, what up? Fists of Fire on the Crab! Thanks, Plants. Wait, why does that crab have a little yellow on its corner? Is it because it has a comes at a play effect? Or is it... Some, it wasn't summoning sick, was it? No. Oh. Anyway, Martyr's Soul. So the cool thing about Martyr's Soul here is that, the, again, I mentioned this crab, one of its biggest pieces of power is um, that it's, it's it... toughness. Yeah, it has four toughness. That's actually quite sizable. It mills one less card, but we have a Lava Dart in the yard, so... And we can attack with impunity against it. Yeah, or I can next turn Battle Screech, Battle Screech, so... Yeah, that's certainly what we're. Yeah, when yeah, right when snow wastes, yeah, snow wastes. Uh, mountain generous gift. That's fine. I'm keeping track of what gets milled because we do have a number of flashback cards. Yeah. Ooh, winter's rest. It, that's a snow enchantment. So. Uh, yeah, we're getting milled again. We're we're just getting milled. This is the crab mill deck. I'm happy that this is the final deck we're playing against today in this draft, because, you know, it's the Crab Mill deck. Sadly, this means we can't... Uh, I, mean, I mean, I can just shelter yeah, and... We can't shelter, yeah. Get it back. That's that's not even not hard. More mountains in the air. Ephemerate would be better. If we drew Ephemerate, that'd be pretty baller. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, so... It was a super type. So, um... I hope they kill us not by milling, but by making merit lage. <laughs> we can't kill an O4. So that God, what do I want to do here? Just screech? We could screech. Or I could just wait and shelter. Then next turn I could like screech, screech, reckless charge. That seems fine. If we shelter, we could shelter now just to see what we draw. Hmm. But I don't know. I don't know if we're going to. I'm gonna see if our opponent. Speed. Yeah, I'm gonna see what our opponent does as far as like. Oh my God, they are loaded on snow permanents here. Yeah, I'm. I'm willing to bet at least that mountain is a uh, waste. Come on, attack for zero. So their deck would not have done anything if they had not played the crab, which is heartening. Yep. But it absolutely means that because of our luck, they're going to have the crab every time. Hmm. To cycle or not to cycle? I'm just going to cycle this. I want an actual card. That's... That uh, That's not bad. Yeah. Just attack past the crab without lava, lava darting away our mountain. And keeps us a red source so if we wanted to. All right, I think I want to go battle screech, battle screech. Uh, yeah, screech them. So. Screech them. Battle screech, counterspell? And counterspelling battle screech is a kind of funky thing to do, but. And we tap everybody. Battle screech. Reckless charge. Get him. <laughs> Reckless charge. Reckless charge. The bird must go. They're going to bounce the bird. <laughs> no! They bounce the bird with chain on summon. Hey, look. 
The bird's in our hand. Bird is colorless. Yeah, bird is colorless. Wait a minute. Bird is col. Wait a minute. Yeah, because uh, it being white is a. I think it's not a card, so it doesn't have anything on the card that indicates <laughs> its color. It does not have a color indicator or a monocost. All right. So it has to. Uh, so I think all colored tokens have reminder text that say they are, like that define their color. There's yeah, all right. So what do they got here? On step. <laughs> oh God. <gasps> oh. Yeah. Okay, there's no good Foff piles. Yeah, but this is like split the snow covered lands, split the spells. This one's pretty. Yeah. And then I'm just sure. putting the island on the one I want to wait. I'm trying to tip the scales to get them to pick string and disappearances because I don't. Yeah, but they yeah, pick the counter, they pick they the counter spell. So. Yeah. I mean, then they get to mill two. Cool thing about them milling here is again, we do still have another. Um... Oh no, Arya. The, the, the jig is up. Wait, do we have another yeah, we have a lava dart? Yeah, and a battle screech. Or do we have two battle screech or one battle screech? I think it's we just have one. One battle screech. One battle screech. I think I'm just gonna get in there like I think we could maybe play the cove first. Or cave first. Well it's sorcery speed only. Oh, it is? Ah, dang. Because if we sacrifice a mountain to Lava Dart after blocking, they could counter that, and that would be pretty, like, Stone Rain us. Yeah. Maybe I want to try to bait it? Big Flyer? Yeah, I kind of like... Maybe it's worth doing that, because I kind of like the wall better <laughs> than, the, than killing the crab. You know? They might not just... They might just, like, not block the martyr soul too maybe they don't they don't read the cave no they do it okay so we can pop them out to try to kill their crab yeah that's what i'm gonna try and do and if they counter it then we can stink we can stick the uh The, the wall. This is asking for me to... I, I want them to spend the counter spell. You know. Ugh. Okay, just creature. Okay. Just creature. That's fine. Because it doesn't, like, flicker the astrolabe or something. Yeah. This has always been the problem with Lava Dart, is sometimes you just stone rain yourself. That's fine, though. That's yeah, okay. So I'm gonna try the wall and see if we can just, like, this probably gets the counter spell. Yeah, it's probably good enough. We have ten cards left in deck. I think we win. If they, if all things staying the same, like with the, with the Worthy in our hand, I do think we will beat them in less than that. I was thinking about it. Nice. I didn't think about it. Okay, they must have some sort of pretty... Gonna, they, they have removal, gonna, then? They're going to Foff us again. It's, like, similar-ish to Foff in some yes. worlds. Similar-ish. Discard an island. Rebound the crab. Which doesn't do anything. The immense we can we accept stone rain in the exchange for the immense power <laughs> of lava dart. Lava dart's huge. Well, I love lava dart. I I like lava dart. I won't call it huge because it does one damage, um, but it's very good right. because it's a zero mana spell. And those historically have been stupid. Okay, wing shards. God, our opponent's so off if they don't have a crab. Filter green. Are they going to reveal the top six? Here it comes. Uh, no, yes. No, yes, yes. 
So they get three snow covered permanents and a spore plus, frog. Plus the scour flashback. possibilities as a flashback. Yes. So they're going to play another Arkham's and then mill us two. I think we only have two turns left in this game at most. Yeah. And they have a, a and they have a, a fog for one of them. Wait, did they get the spore frog? Uh, no, no, yeah, you're, you're right. That's not in there. So they uh, they already played their land for turn, so they can't play land and like. Yes, I think we we have like two turns at max here. So. We need to jimmy up. We still have reckless charge in the yard. I'm casting the recruit right now. That seems fine. Reckless charge. Um. Yeah, because if I if I don't, I can't spend the. I'll spend the cave next turn. Reckless charge. So we activate the wall. Turn team sideways. They block Martyr Soul. Take three. Seven, eight, nine, ten. They might counterspell this. I would. Yeah. I would spend counterspell right here, right now. Okay, so they need to mill us three times. So we get in for seven, put them to ten. And then next turn, I need one extra point of damage somewhere. I need to draw Mountain. Yeah, Mountain would win us the game. There are... Seven Mountain. No, shit, we're off red sources. Oh, we just had a Mountain. Yeah. We could draw Lava Dart. We can't. Well, that won't... That'll tap the cave though true so I feel like they're going to be able to mill us one more card on a blocker okay oh yeah we're dead that actually <laughs> just kills us because it exiles another like mm -hmm. yeah we're so dead. that thing flickers on an astrolabe so their deck is non-functional without the crab, huh? And they appear to only have one of them. Yeah, they've gone through almost their entire deck. So if we reprobate the crab... They would have to, like, blizzard... They, they have ephemerate, they have... Yeah, they can, they can deal with that, but I think just shutting it off for long enough could be something. So either that or us just having like a slightly more aggressive star would be pretty good too. Um, wing shards is coming out. Yeah, wing shards is very bad. That's sitting in our hand doing nothing right now. Speaking of we mill, our opponent's at eight cards left in deck. I just yeah, want to. Do we want to show our opponent our last card? It was lava dart. <laughs> I'm gonna put the fear of god into him. Yeah. All right. Um, maybe maybe wing shards out for 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 reckless charge if they're going to be milling us. And like maybe aura flame or maybe just bear. Bear or aura flame both seem pretty cool. Maybe if they're milling us. Yeah, if they're milling us, maybe we do the jargon, or we just use tectonic reformation. It doesn't. Yeah. We don't have to rely completely on our opponent for that to work. Yeah. Do I want to? Plus Lava Dart. Yeah. We have ways, yeah, we have ways of getting... Although Lava Dart's a less good way to, to do when we sacrifice our red sources. Do I still want Tectonic Reformation? Uh, what would we play over it? The Aura Flame? Aura Flame. Trustworthy Scout? Probably Aura Flame. Let's try it. And, like, we could shenanigans, but all our opponent had were those, like, little snow things that nobody gives a shit about. Yeah, that's just... Going so, down a car to do nothing. Alright, I'm actually going to add a mountain. 
Yeah, because we're going down on wing shards. Yeah, we got rid of two of our double whites, and we added a double red. No, I, I already brought it up. Because our opponent's deck relies entirely on the crab, they were absolutely going to have it every time. Yeah, that, not us. That's how, oppo that's how opponents work. Sure. Mm, the goblin. Kissing goblins. Plus, the Vesperlark could finally do something. Although our opponent is very unlikely to kill the goblin. Right. I mean, the Vesperlark will fly. True. Alright. Clock is here, everybody. I'm a goblin warrior. I am drawn and illustrated by Kev Walker. I didn't even know if that was true, but I could tell just by looking at it. Because that's the same dragon that's in Switcheroo, for one. Ah, yes, your fairy seer. That will not stand up to my goblin might. They secretly had four more crabs in the bottom nine cards of their deck. Attack! Goblins! The the goblin had a, little, a pretty cool comic to to like show off his crab, and then um, see we knew. Yeah, th th that was hundred percent. So the 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 goblin had a pretty cool comic, like when it got announced, that I thought was pretty nifty. Thank you, planes. Um, let's just start getting. Should we like? No, there's no reason to attack, right? Like, they'll just block with the crab, right? But, I mean, our goblin's not blocking. <laughs> and they can't kill it in combat, so why not? Put the fear of God in them. We have lava darts. I'm gonna lava dart your ass so hard. <laughs> really, I get to attack with a three power yeah, or like that's, Vesper Lark. Yeah, the, the Larks will be, are pretty good. Our, the Seers are not going to be, to be able to blank the Larks like they usually do, but... Holy shit! Whoa, what? That's the least likely block. I psycho mantis mantis the. How the opponent. hell? I am the master of killing. <laughs> the fear of God. Yeah, they must want it dead. That's the actual. That's the only thing that can make sense is they want it dead. But I want a flying blocker off the table. All right. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Why would they want? Do they, are they playing unearthed? Do they just want to spend a mana to scry to again? Maybe we'll see. On Earth makes sense. Uh, it's still down a card, though. Yes. All right, so let's get milled. Two planes. Don't care. Excellent. I'm glad to see those gone. And then Man of War. The Vesper Lark. Okay, I this guess. is gonna be funny because, like, as time goes on, we might draw cards that make Man of War on Vesper Lark bad. Uh, sadly, we can't attack with the champion again. I'll... No. <laughs> Our opponent has shown uh, proclivity for weird blocks, but maybe that would not persist. Uh, we reeled reprob reprobation. Ah, dang it. Our There's one answer that. to the crab, and they got it. <laughs> There's the astrolay. We get two more mills, and it is... Reckless Charge. All right. I'm happy to see Reckless Charge. <laughs> Reckless charge. Reckless charge. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh shit. Oh shit. Hmm. They got rid of our aura flop. Hmm. Um. I'm going to attack with a lark and play another lark. Yeah. What was the uh, what's the flashback on Reckless? It's four, right? Three. Yeah, three. Okay. So uh, if I waited a turn, I could do it. Yeah, if we do, we could play the cohort. But the cohort doesn't do anything on the board. Yeah, it just gets blocked by crabs. So yeah, let's just go and attack with, and attack with stuff. The multi crab is here. That's gonna mill us really fast. It's fine. They're, they've drawn all of their non-snow-covered lands. Uh, 
Sadly, the, the Vesper Lark only adds one power to our attack. Yeah. Another Arkham's Astrolabe for four cards off us. No. Glacial? Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna glacial visions us. Stone blanks. Two snow covered lands and four okay. blanks. Scour is not a blank, I suppose, but Yeah. But so nah. it's two lands. Do you know they printed better mulch in this set? Oh mulch? Better... Mulch costed uh, two. No, right? no, no, no. There's a card. There's a different card that is green one. Mill, uh, choose a creature or land. Mill four. Ah, uh, yeah, that thing. And it, yeah, the uh, winding way. I like that card a lot. Yeah, it's better mulch because you can also use it for creatures. It's the same thing as mulch. Uh, it's also got really good art where like a snake blends into a a hill a hillock. Yes. Uh, wall in the yard. Okay, I get to attack for decent damage here. I would like to draw Angel, I guess. The dragon? 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 What do you cost dragon? Planes, 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 planes. Mmm! Thanks for yeah. thanks for remembering the good card I could draw. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Mmm. I'm feeling powerful tonight, because I got to psycho block <laughs> our opponent and then summon a dragon. <laughs> to I'm just going to attack for eight and then leave up shelter. Well, mulch, you had to pick land. So this giving you the choice is not better. It is better. <laughs> it's not worse. It's just flat better. Because if you wanted to play mulch, you could just use it to play mulch. You mulch, all, like, yeah, you no, it's always better. Because if yeah, you, always better. Because if you just wanted to mulch, you just play it as mulch. Yeah, anyways, we attack for uh, six here. Or it's eight here. Half our opponent's life total. Yeah, and mulch then... is only land. And mulch was still good. Are, they, are we going to be able to use shelter? Yes. So that is... Pro black. Nice. We could make our goblin into a... We can finally remove a damn crab if I want it. Or we can kill a crab, which might be reasonable. Okay. We still haven't milled any lava darts. Alright, so... That's likely to change soon. Angel. Angel's good, because that means the, the larks are now... The larks do something and produce a more valuable creature than not. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Is this uh, our friend, the... Blinky? Yep, this is the Blizzard Strix. That's probably getting generous gifted. Yeah, just so that we can attack with our flyers. God, that's almost lethal on us, too. Because that's going to mill us eight. Dude, if they have another Astrolabe in their... When does the Strix return it? End of turn? End of turn. Okay, so they don't... They have so to they play the Astrolabe it. right now. Yeah. Looks like they don't got it. Okay. There's two reckless charges in the yard now. Reckless charge. <laughs> okay, so here it comes back. They draw a card and mill us another four. Again, if we can get our opponent to two, the game is over. Yeah. That's the number. Well, we yeah, here it is. There we are. There's our lava darts. We have both our lava darts. So now we just have to generous gift their Strix, attack and for eight, and they die. Yeah, I'll reckless charge in there too. Or you could just lava dart their. No, we, we want to. Elephant the elephant. Might as well tap the mountain. Ah. I'm going to be casting reckless charge. Everything's going to be tapped. Ah, okay, cool. Do you have a one blue thing that ruins us? They they can bounce one of our two Vesper Larks, but that's not enough. Ooh, squeaky. Okay. Oh, my God. Thank you, Dragon. Not the...
So yep. we have bad news. Yeah, Our bad opponent news. has more than one crab. They yep. may have two. <laughs> they could have more. Uh, had he didn't really see much else we wanted. Uh, uh, face the divinity's awful. Is other shelter worth playing? Over what? What's bad here? I don't know if we're going to be able to, like, accumulate the resources to make Arya good, but it's a way to win without attacking. Yeah. Do I want to take out two wing shards? Do um, I want to swap the martyr's souls for the spine horned minotaurs I've got? Those are just going to be two threes, though, right? Right, but they can threaten double strike. No, 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 no. Or, or Flame's better with Martyr's Soul. Yeah, I just feel it lets him attack into the crowd. What are the cohorts doing here? That's a good question. I don't think this card does well, those, anything. Yeah, they are good with the Aura Flame, but maybe we can just lower our curve. Well, even with the Aura Flame, they don't attack through crab. That's true. But if they only have one crab, which has been true 50% of the time, mm -hmm. then at least... One of the bodies can attack through the crab. We can try a Spinehorn Minotaur against it, though, just to see if we can ever get the double strike. Because if you yeah. can double strike them, then things like... Uh... Shelter's also good. I'm going to do that. I'm going to take out... Oh, man. I usually kind of... Ephemerate with Martyr Soul is still really good. That's never happened yet. We did it once. It just didn't matter. Yeah. Uh, I, I, we did see the the uh, the Chandras, the triple Chandra, yeah. the vertical cycle Chandra, where the cards basically play well together. She gets more on fire as she goes. I think it's nifty. I think it's real cool. They're only doing the one set. Oh boy, I see Angel. I'm keeping. I see an aggressive curve. <laughs> we're we're going to on turn two. Get the choice between lava holding up lava dart or reckless charging. Yep. Or do we want to hold our flashback spell? Yeah, and start Aria. Yeah, they start getting the angel off to start working off the. Uh, wow, they played it. Wow. Well, they're getting rid of two other. Their hand must be awful. They have, oh they look how far they. they well, they mold the six. six. Yeah, they mold the six. Yeah, so they have, they're trying to find their crab. Yeah, they're on a they're on a bad hand. This is mana fixing. Get him, Segovian Angel. It's said that in the modern vernacular, angels are three threes. Or four fours. Four fours. I still always think of angels as two twos. I'll always think of them. Like, I mean, Baneslayer is the one I've played the most. Yeah, Baneslayer, yeah. And he's a five five. Uh, All right, no crab on two. But I, in my old man brain... I remember the I remember like the voice cycle, like voice of grace, voice of law, voice of all, and those are all four mana two twos. Yeah. Okay. How about this? Angels are squares. The square stats. Ah, there very rarely is an angel not. There are square. some. There are some that are yeah, non-square like, stats, uh, but. Shall I voice of plenty? Yeah. Like voice angel. It's a three four. Oh my god. It says restaurant they they smelled our fear. I mean I'm just gonna lava dart that, but whatever. Yeah. I guess for now we can we just play our uh play our Aria. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna Aria of Sorrow this one. Get him, Segovian Angel. Avison's a four four on the front. Avison's a six six on the hurt eight eight? How big is Avacyn's old card? Big, big Avacyn's an 8-8. Eight, eight. Yeah. Like, angels, like, obviously there are, you can find counterexamples to me. Yeah, yes. but many, many, many of them are 4-4s four or 2-2s. Two yeah. I miss, the, the voice cycle was good. I miss those things. I miss old man magic because I'm an old man. I'm not making it a rule. I'm saying it's a... Yeah, it's a... Uh, why did I even say anything? Never mind. <laughs>
We had to get the we had to we had to find out who in the chat's an um actually. <laughs> Everyone who spoke, you're um actually. Yep. <laughs> you shall be decreed for the rest of thine life in um actually. All right, so I'm going to I'm going to be lava darting that frog. Man, they another main phase rain. Yeah, well, I have no idea why they keep doing that. Well, let's dart them. Well, no, we attack first. Yeah, we attack first. Actually, yeah. Yeah, we attack first. We dart, we dart them on their turn. Or just, like, after... Well, a gorilla is a 6 on a 5-5, five five, right? And a, and a flying gorilla, thus, is a dragon. Because a 6 on a 5-5 five five flyer is a dragon. Prevent all combat damage from the this turn. Spore Frog has entered the effects zone. Okay, it's the opponent's race to find crabs after blowing four snow covered permanents already. And also, we're on Ario with five spells. Wait, wait a gorilla's an X Mana XX? Alright, um, I'm only gonna spend one reckless charge here because anymore it seems like. Yeah, just looking for removal. Yeah. Okay, okay. I think the only things we can agree on is what a bear <laughs> is, what mm -hmm. a squire is, mm -hmm. and what a snit is. Mm -hmm. I got you to just say yes to a snit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a snit. Reckless charge. <laughs> I love I love this. This is getting real dumb. I love the reckless charge on a one one. We just had to cast a we just had to cast Reckless Charge on a flying man, and then we're having fun. I know, right? That's that's what I'm here for is Suntail Hawk. Reckless Charge. Reckless Charge. Suntail Hawk. Reckless Charge. Suntail bounce Hawk. Bounce target creature. Suntail Hawk. Thank God that's bounce target creature. Suntail Hawk. <laughs> Reckless Charge. Wasn't there an oof that was a snid? Oh my god. Uh, buddy. Buddy. Buddy, 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 buddy. They I'm... can't, okay, they can't possibly have more reckless charges than that, right? Buddy, buddy, I've got really bad news about the card in my graveyard. <laughs> no. End step. No. Also, deal three to you. <laughs> Reckless charge. Yeah, we we got Jins. Jins wanted to play Flying Man, which we all agreed was a good choice because we're playing so many Reckless charges, and it's really good. We're playing a three mana enchantment that gains our opponent th ten life, so that we can kill them with that enchantment in Reckless Charge. Reckless charge. Suntail Hawk. Alright, so let's, we start with Suntail Hawk. We continue with Reckless Charge. And then we also continue with Reckless Charge. Oh. Alright. Aria Flame is well enough, but it's life total back Look how, right now. Look how tiny Segovian Angel is. Ah, that angel could die fighting of Segovian uh, Leviathan. That angel could kill two Segovian Leviathans. Now, two mana, three ones have been printed a lot. There's one in this set. That's a joke about a vanilla one. Yeah. The changeling of the sixth pride. Yeah, but Porcelain Legionnaire is a, a, a colorless first striker. Yeah, that's the super thing about it. That's the super touch. I don't think that our opponent's playing Defile because they are swamp and the swamps and mountains are their off color. Mm -hmm. I can splash it, but all I have to do is cast Reckless Charge from my yard, and they take six. Well, of course, there's a giant. Yeah! Woohoo! We got our entry back. We got our entry back. We got to show everybody this wonderful page again. Yep, we got to. I'm I'm really happy that we got to do like the what the deck was intended to, which was yeah, two things. <laughs> yeah, our like fourth pick pivot into Aria. Of flame. Yep. Worked out really good well both times we played Aria of Flame. It was great. Yep. 
And also, I got to return to Battlegrounds with Suntail Hawk. Reckless Charge. Charge. Reckless Charge. Charge. And just... Our opponent went, oh, wait, I'm sorry. Well, I lo- like, I love them bouncing the angel. <laughs> Sad thing is that we never got to realize we were at a higher life total than our opponent and then rush them down and hit them with a stick right. until they died. That was never something we got to do. Sadly, well, we did so in spirit. Is that the Aria? Is that... <laughs> Uh, you know, Aria down with a stick. Big storm. The... Yeah. <clears throat> oh, this is actually a real good. Uh... Okay. This is strange looking. I mean, like uh, being able to look at past decks here. Anywho, <laughs> but yes, I, I'm 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 very happy with the silliness of the deck. I know that it's funny because we we have the choice to first pick. Um, if, if we would have first picked that Reformation, I think we would have been in green red, and then yeah, we would have been, been in bear green town. red and had and been yeah, we would have been ultra bear, and that dragon would have been incredible, <laughs> like with us discarding like lands to make bears and like cycling our lands to make. Dr- Actually, no, those two cards don't play at all together, there, do they? Which Getting ones? your land cycling red and also wanting to discard your lands to make bears. That's correct. They don't do anything together. Yeah, that's that's bad. Uh, do you think there's traction on Arya plus Tybalt? That 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 would be good. Uh, yeah, if there's, if there was a two mana two two that just said, players can't gain life, I would really like the idea of that. God, but, if 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 only there was a two mana two two, that had that text. You're right. Well, that's not quite what I want, but it's very close. I know. Also, could, this is old, this is old, good old fashioned magic chat where we remember ancient cards. Nobody yep. remembers uh, to actually pull up the the others. But the 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 big thing is Tybalt is the 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 most. Yeah. But also, I guess banned constru- banned con- um, standard card. Mm. Oh, is there a ley line that does this too? Um. I mean, there's skull crack, but that's five. Everlasting torment, players can't gain life. Yeah, ley line yeah. punishment. Yeah, I remember this from the new ley lines. That like ley line of the void was the only one anybody. Actually, ley line of sanctity was also in there. So the two played ley lines were from that. Oh man, souls of the faultless. That's one of my all time favorite yeah. Ravnica block cards. But whatever. It's a spirit. It's just a spirit. That matters. It does indeed matter very much. It's right, devouring but... greed and stuff like that. Yeah, Devouring Greed and Ghost Head. Rampaging for Eston is one of the most absurd cards to be on a banned list, yes. It's one of the most absurd cards to ever be pre-banned. That card was never standard playable. <laughs> it, got, it got banned the week the set well, came out. Oh, I thought you were talking about the Souls of the Faultless, and I'm like, that's not a wall, though. That's the, I mean, the, the garbage wall. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I get you. Wall of, yeah. wall of Essence is pretty good at stopping skeletons. Yep, skeletons. This one weird trick that skeletons <laughs> hate. Yeah, just skeletons hate it. Oh my goodness. But yeah, there's there's a there are a couple cards in 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 Magic that allow you to either stop life gain or I punish it heavily. It's just that the best one is not modern legal in that uh, because it would be ridiculous to make uh, sulfuric vortex modern legal. Yeah, vortex would be really. But uh, yeah, so. Anywho, I think that's going to be it for tonight. I don't know. Yeah, I don't I don't think there's actually late. I think going in another one of these would take us another 2 hours and I'll I'll pass on yeah. that for now, but look forward to more of these in the future cuz I think this is actually a pretty cool draft set and there's a lot of new cards that I want to show off to y'all. So Yeah. Oh man, get Magic Online new Magic Online news, tips and information. See your buddy and clan lists. I'm on my own buddy list. Yeah. Clans is like such a web 2.0 thing. <laughs> but that's going to be it for now. All right. Uh, Want to catch more of this? Uh, follow us, see when things are live. Uh, subscribe for Cool Skulls and Slimes. And Slimes. O- otherwise, just be here to have fun. Uh, talk about angels and then. <laughs> and play the Um Actually game with us where we play a <laughs> trap once per stream to God. lure out the Um Actually <laughs> so that we can give you your mark of shame. <laughs> No, no, that's not what I mean by it. But also, 
Anywho. Yeah, we're, we're just having fun here. All right. Catch you tomorrow with something. Good night, everybody. Good night.